Most Pokemon have access to hidden abilities, excluding a handful of Pokemon like Rotom, Gengar and Hydreigon, amongst others who only have access to one ability. But for the rest that do have these additional abilities, they can sometimes be quite tricky to get. In today's video, I'll show you all the methods of how to get Pokemon with hidden abilities in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like to. Hidden abilities are normally a third ability most Pokemon have access to that they cannot have through normal interactions in the game, i.e. catching from wild battles. These alternative abilities that Pokemon have access to will need to be acquired by using other and special methods only. Also, two Pokemon with their normal abilities will never be able to breed and produce a baby Pokemon with its hidden ability. To breed hidden abilities down, you will need to first have one parent that knows the hidden ability for this to be possible. Now, the first and probably easiest method to obtain Pokemon with hidden abilities is through Terror Raids. After obtaining your third gym badge, you will have access to three star Terror Raids, and from here you will now have the chance to catch Pokemon in these raids with their hidden abilities. So getting hidden abilities can be something you can do pretty early on in your playthrough. Once you become the Paldea Champion, of course, and see the end credits after finishing all three storylines, you will then have access to five star terror raids. And after beating the Academy Tournament in the post game and completing a number of other terror raids, you will finally get access to six star terror raids. All three, four, five, and six star terror raids will give you the chance to get a Pokemon with their hidden abilities. It can be quite tricky to tell if a Pokemon has its hidden ability when entering a terror raid battle, though. Unless it's something that activates as soon as you enter the battle, like Ditto and this 3 star terror raid, which has its imposter ability that does activate as soon as the battle begins. Otherwise you are left with having to beat the raid, catch the Pokemon and check to see if it has its hidden ability at the end of the battle or not. So this can be quite a time consuming process, but there is a Pokemon that you can use to help speed this process up. Ralts, Curlia and Gardevoir all have access to the ability Trace. And when you send this Pokemon into a battle, the ability activates immediately, copying the opponent's ability, allowing you to see it before you start the fight. This is a great technique to use and bring into terror raids, especially if you are hunting for hidden abilities. I trained my Gardevoir up to level 100 so I could actually use it in terror raids, but you don't necessarily need to, and you can just use a low level Ralts if you want. Just enter the raid with it, check the ability of the Pokemon you are hunting, and if it has its hidden ability, run from the terror raid and re-enter it with a stronger Pokemon that can beat it, and that's a good way to just save some time from training your Ralts and just use a low level one. Ralts can be found in the South Province Area 4, right at the start of your playthrough next to Los Platos, and can either have the Trace or Synchronize ability. You may need to spend a little bit of time to catch one with the right regular ability here, but it shouldn't take too long for you to get the trace ability for this method. Now once you have it, you're all set to hunt for hidden abilities in terror raids a lot easier. Like I said before, once you have your Ralts, your Curlia or your Gardevoir all with trace, you just need to make sure that that is the Pokemon that you're entering the terror raid with. Once you enter the terror raid, the trace ability will be one of the first things to activate in the terror raid den. This will immediately indicate if the Pokemon you're hunting has its hidden ability or not. If it does, then you can continue the battle if your God of War is strong enough. If you're using a low level Ralts, you may want to just end the battle there and come back into it with a stronger choice so you can beat this terror raid and, and catch it for your collection. And this is as simple as it is. You just need to go around all of the terror raids, check them with your trace user. And once you've done that, Check them and although this might be a little time consuming, you could get lucky as well and find it quite quickly. Remember to utilize the date skip glitch with this method as well because you can go through a bunch of terror raid dens and find nothing that you're looking for. Find the Pokemon that you're hunting but none of them have the hidden ability. If this is the case then you can use the date skip glitch to refresh your dens and spawn a new set so you have additional chances to catch the target Pokemon. All you need to do when you're in your game is hit your home menu and then go down to system settings, into system, date and time, make sure your clock is off via the internet, then skip the day forward one, hit your home menu and come back into the game where all your terror raids will respawn in new locations and give you those additional chances to locate the hidden ability Pokemon you are hunting for with your trace ability user. Now hunting in terror raids for hidden ability Pokemon is the main way you're gonna probably go about this in these games. Although there is another method that you can use it is a lot quicker, but it is based upon an item that is a very rare item drop. What I'm talking about is using the item Ability Patch. 
This item can only be obtained from 6 star terror raids and 7 star terror raids of course when these events are taking place. And when you use the ability patch it will change a Pokemon's regular ability into its hidden ability. Use them sparingly, although these do appear to be more popular item drops from the event terror raids. The 7 star Charizard raid we had recently had a very common chance of you getting an ability patch each time you beat it. So keep an eye out for when these events drop and take advantage of them when you can. Also a new feature in Scarlet and Violet is having the ability to now change a Pokemon's hidden ability back to its regular ability using the ability patch. This wasn't possible in previous generations, but now as you can see, if you have a hidden ability and you don't want it on your Pokemon, you were kind of stuck with it, but using the ability patch now will revert that hidden ability back to one of that Pokemon's regular abilities, which is a great improvement for these games. It's also worth noting the ability capsule item will not change a Pokemon's ability from its regular ability to its hidden ability or vice versa. Only the ability patch has the power to give a Pokemon access to its hidden ability or take that away. So these are the main methods in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet for how you get Pokemon with hidden abilities. If you found this video useful, please drop a like and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest Scarlet and Violet content here on the channel. Thanks for tuning in, good luck hunting those hidden abilities and until next time, bye bye.